In this episode of the Low Code Feature Focus, we'll be taking a look at the Action Forms manual layout mode. To get started, we'll add the Action Form module to our form. And we'll manage it and create a basic contact form and take a look at what's been provided. The system automatically builds first name, last name, email, subject message. It's all laid out, ready to go. In our case, we want to use the manual layout mode to arrange this form the way we want. And we also want to add some accessibility features. We're gonna use the manual mode to implement a a different layout and to implement the field set tag to group related sections of the form. Field set improves the readability of forms for people with cognitive disabilities and visual impairments, and the manual layout mode is going to allow these to be added quite easily. So let's get started with our changes. So we'll open up our manage form and open the uh, general settings. The manual layout checkbox is going to allow us to create a manual layout. If we click the checkbox and then click start with a bootstrap layout, it's going to set up a layout that, that mirrors what's already on the form. And we can see this, we'll just save and refresh the form. And we get this identical layout. So now as we work with the layout, just to, uh, to show that it, it is um, active, we'll take the email address and move it from before phone to after phone. And having made that change, we will save the result. And so now when we refresh, we see that phone appears first and then email. So now we're gonna go ahead and, and implement the field set tag that we were interested in. So I'm going to toggle this into HTML mode and I'm actually going to uh, restart with, a, with the bootstrap layout just to make it so we don't have those manual changes that I did just a moment ago. So we've, it's e always easy to go back to the normal default layout, just hit start with a bootstrap layout. And so what I wanna do is take these, the first name and the last name field and enclose them in a field set. Now it's beyond the scope of this article to describe why exactly you might use a field set. You might want to take a look and do a do some research on accessibility, but uh, by doing this, this um, those fields will appear in one field set, and then I'm going to just put the remainder of these fields uh, that we're collecting into a separate field set, and then uh, the loading bar and the send now button. I'm not going to include in a field set, so we'll save this refresh the screen and visually the screen hasn't changed at all but if we go into inspect and search for um, field set we can see that there are two field sets that have been defined and if we hover this one we can see that that first name last name is one field set and uh, email phone message subject is another field set so um, the manual mode has allowed us to inject our own HTML and wrap the content of our fields uh, as we needed. Uh, you can do other things. For example, if we wanted to add a horizontal line between uh, first name, last name, we could do that, just in including the correct HTML to do that. And we save and refresh. And now we see that we have a horizontal line between first name and last name. There it is. So you could inject uh, any, any content that you wanted into the fields. It's showing you the names of the fields that are present on your form. You could copy and paste these wherever you want to as you rearrange the form. Uh, and again, you can always re, if you, uh, want to work, uh, want to start over again. If you've added a bunch of fields and it's easier to start over again, you can just start with bootstrap layout and it'll provide you the correct layout.
To finish out, if we want to uncheck this button, we'll go back to a default layout where there are no field sets or horizontal lines. So it's easy to convert back to uh, away from a manual layout. And we'll just, just prove it. Uh, we search for field set and we don't get any. All right, so we'll close that out. We're back to our default form. In this video, we've created an action form and converted it to a manual layout, made some changes to implement field set, and then turned it back into a, a standard layout. Is there some feature you'd like to see in our next video? Leave a comment in the section below. For more great low-code content, be sure to subscribe to Plant an App.